So the first Osho Zen card I have for you is inner voice. Wow. So some of you guys might be feeling your inner voice really seek out this month a um, clarity and harmony within yourself. So there's this there's sense of harmony within yourself, feeling whole, um, feeling feeling stable and connected to your higher self, your consciousness, um, to God, to angels. So there's a sense of you guys that are thinking about this. You're thinking about an, your inner voice, using your inner voice, thinking about um, what's best for you and what's going to give you harmony within your life and in your situation this month. Um, the next card we have is the burden card. And um, so this is uh, pretty much talking about Feeling like you have a lot going on this month of March, feeling like there's just a lot of burden in, within something here, um, because this is in pretty much in the actions you take this month, um, things you're doing. So everything that seems like you're doing this month is really putting a, a heavy load on yourself. Um, so there it might be a need for you guys, and it could have to do with this work situation that people uh, are putting a lot of the work on you, Cancer. Uh, maybe Cancers, for some of you, um, I call you guys the caring Cancers, because Cancers sometimes are overly caring. Not overly, right? But um, you may lose sight of... Um, and maybe take on too much that, and it's going to be, you know, might be too much for you to handle. Not that you, it's too much for you to handle, but too much for you to take on. And it's not fair because we do have other people here. All right. So you might be wanting to leave a situation behind. It's too much for you. Or you're thinking about how can I make this situation a little bit more harmonious? How can I make my situation equal? Uh, maybe share the work around others or speak up for yourself. So some of you guys also are needing to, Use this inner voice to speak up uh, and speak your truth and uh, tell people how you're feeling about the workload, how you're feeling about how you're take, feeling that you're taking on so much um, and that these other people are most likely putting this upon you um, and it's not really yours to take. So uh, we do need to sometimes do that. Tell, uh, speak, uh, speak our truth. Um, the next card we have is friendliness. Uh, this is... Uh, what you guys might be feeling right now, you might be feel, feeling um, feeling something having to do with friends uh, and what friends mean to you. Um, a true friend, though, you know, this is a true friend. Somebody will stand by you, somebody that you can be with, um, somebody who uh, will be with you for forever and stand by your side. So again, it could be something to do with your work situation here, because um, this is this is all about maybe you're you're second guessing what a friendship is within your relationship this month. The next thing we have is trust in reverse. Um, some of you guys might be having a hard time right now uh, taking that leap of faith, taking that uh, plunge into something brand new and unknown. Maybe you guys are thinking about leaving a work situation or a project or a business uh, that was started with other people. Um, or even if it was just your own self, but you're thinking about maybe leaving your clients and, and going somewhere else or uh, taking a chance uh, with something really new. Um, but you guys might be feeling that fear of not wanting to change or afraid that it might not be working. You might be feeling reluctant is what it's saying. You might be feeling reluctant because things might be feeling a little bit too comfortable for some of you. Like you don't want to... Um, you know, leave what you currently have, even though it seems to be a little bit unfair and things aren't working out. There may be this sense of loyalty from yourself or something like that. But anyway, um, there is a need maybe for um, faith to come into play this month for you, your situation. Okay, so let's get into your reading here. The center, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This could be a, this is this beautiful earth energy. This is, um, you know, long-term stability, long-term um, stable energy. And this could be a, this could be you, Cancer, but it also could be somebody else. It could be um, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Um, it doesn't have to be any of those either, but this is uh, an energy here surrounding you that's talking about not really focusing on, focusing on a new beginning. There's a lack of focus. There's a lack of initiative. There's a uh, delay in, in bringing something forward that, that's, that could be really worth something within your life. Financially, um, like a business, starting a business. Um, 
starting something that can really you really build long term and bring financial stability with. So there is a lack of that right now, and it could be obviously also that you're uh, you somebody's declining an offer. Okay, somebody might 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 not be accepting. This could be an offer that is not accepted by you, or the other person is not accepting your offer. Um, when it comes to maybe this work situation or a situation, maybe they're not accepting it. Okay, so we'll get some clarity on that. In the recent past, we have the Nine of Swords. This is um, somebody that's, uh, you know, had a little bit of issues with sleeping, or if it wasn't sleeping, then they were having a little bit of issues with um, some worry that's, you know, been haunting the mind, keeping you up, keeping your mind uh, worried. So there's been some thought here uh, from somebody or a situation um, that it has been a little bit bothersome. So there's obviously something that you're wanting to figure out, resolve, or change within your life to make it a little, like I say, a lot more harmonious. And that's our first card right here. You know, it's talks. You know, it's talking about, of course, that wanting that um, peace and harmony in your situation, and trusting your inner voice. This is also about trusting your inner voice. You guys uh, I mentioned earlier that it could have been your, you know, your, your you need to trust. Uh, uh, trust in a new situation but it could be just you needing to trust your inner voice um, to speak up and be free of what what it is that you have to say okay so what's coming in for you what's coming in right now for you is the knight of swords the, i'm sorry the king of swords here um this could be an air sign could be a libra gemini or aries not an aries i'm sorry a libra or a gemini uh, or aquarius uh, this person is going to be coming in with the truth. They're, they are, they're, they are going to want to speak to you. Um, they're going to want to provide you with some information um, that you may need or that's very important for you. And you can trust this information. And it could be a male or female, but this is a male here coming in. Um, this person's got a lot of uh, information and, and communication coming towards you. It is, it is truthful information, so you can trust it. And what's crossing you this month is the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is crossing you. So there might be a little bit of a obstacle this month with this, uh, with something to do with being successful, being acknowledged, being promoted, being recognized for what it is that you do and contribute to or how, how you do your job or um, how, your imp how your input uh, to whatever this possible project is here. This input, your input, it's not being recognized or somebody's having a hard time recognizing it, okay? It's like you're, you're waiting to be recognized or you're waiting to be promoted or you're waiting for something to do here with the next level and it's just not coming in yet maybe. It could have something, again, to do with this Knight of Pentacles that's not really focusing. They're not really focusing maybe on... on what you're contributing to or vice versa. This, this reading can go, of course, either way. It's you or the other person. We have the hangman in reverse. And this is what you really should be. This is your advice card for the month and what you should be really focusing on. And so we can't force ourselves to learn a lesson, but it is in reverse. So it's talking about already learning a lesson, not having to force yourself, of course, to be. Um, but it's, it, it's saying stay focused on the fact that you're now coming out of a time where you were stuck, but you don't have to be stuck anymore. And the message is you don't have to be stuck anymore because you've already learned what you needed to learn. So you can trust yourself at this point. There is no need to take on all the burden, all the job responsibilities or all everybody's um, hardships or everybody's um, shortcomings. It's not your responsibility. So for those cancers out there that are doing that, it's trying, these, this advice is telling you that, um, that you're not stuck. There are options and, um, you don't want to repeat the same mistake or you don't want to repeat something. Maybe if you have repeated, if you're have done this in the past and you don't want to do it again, this card is reminding you that you've already learned what you needed to learn. So it is time for you now to, um, to, to get unstuck guys. It's time for you to get unstuck. It's time for you to start, uh, doing something differently now. How exciting. We have the three of cups in reverse. The three of cups here. So again, it goes kind of good with this three of pentacles in reverse, which kind of talks about some kind of disharmony, some kind of um, time where things, uh, things aren't going smoothly with other people. People from your past even. Some of you guys are 
wanting so badly to turn this situation around with these friends or these people you work with or this project that you've been working on with others. It looks like you're really trying to put a lot of work into this. You're really trying to hope, hopefully turn, turn, turn it to a positive situation because it looks like these people are friends, friends that you care about or friends that you really um, have known for a long time. Okay, so how you see your situation, Cancer, is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, another Earth energy goes well with this Knight of Pentacles. So uh, some of you guys are going back and forth with a starting a new new way of business, or it's almost like you're you're not you've been going back and forth in your mind about it, or you've been going back and forth with an offer, or you're just not focused on it right now. But you're seeing your situation as the Queen of Pentacles, a very stable, uh, secure person, Virgo, Capricorn, or Scorpio, uh, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, or gosh, I'm really out of it. To Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Sorry, you guys. This is a male or female, and um, it definitely talks about stability, financial stability as well. Well, but it also talks about sharing. It talks about being secure within yourself. Either this is financial or emotionally or both, um, but feeling secure with who you are and therefore being able to offer and share that to others. So either you're feeling that you are that, that energy or you're, you're somehow trying to bring that energy forward or somebody's coming to you to help you, help you start this new beginning, a new beginning, or help you with this work situation or friend situation product project. So you have two people coming in this month, um, this Queen of Pentacles and this King of Swords. They're both going to be extremely helpful to you. Again, this one could be giving, offering you advice. This could be a mother figure. Um, this could be a father, mother, father. Um, it could be just two, you know, two separate people. They're both coming in to help you. Um, in your environment, we have the Two of Pentacles. So this is somebody within your situation around you, influences around you. Um, so it looks like there is a need for somebody either to make a decision. Somebody, some, some of you guys have some, you're waiting for somebody to maybe make a decision and that is, decision will affect you. Um, you might be waiting on a promotion. You might be waiting um, on some, some financial offer to come in for some help. Again, we have this card here, but there's somebody else here possibly. To, let's clarify. Why is the two of pentacles here for cancer? Why is it here? Others of you, uh, this, 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 you know, people are just trying to keep it together. They're trying to manage things as they can. And we have the two of rods. So again, this is um, kind of a, a, a very, uh, an energy that's kind of like unstable. Uh, unable to really put fa a foundation down, unable to really make decisions right now for the future because you really don't know what the future, you know, what you're going to be able to do yet and for the future. So, yeah, somebody needs to make a decision here um, with the two uh, pentacles and the two uh, rods telling me that there is a decision that needs to be made or and or uh, it has to do with the, the future. And somebody right now may not be able to make any plans because they're barely making it their life, uh, they're juggling things back and forth, barely making things uh, meet uh, as it is financially or their time and energy as well. So your hopes and fears, we have the nine of, nine of cups. So are you, you guys are really hoping that you are going to be the nine of cups full of um, satisfaction um, and happy and fulfilled in your situation. And uh, others of you are afraid that it's not happening. <laughs> you're afraid it's not going to come forward or you're afraid you may not be able to manifest that. Um, but I, I, you definitely have some help here with people coming in. The outcome we have is the Queen of Swords in reverse. And this is, could be another um, air sign. So it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, male or female. And she's a little bit upset. This could be you, Cancer, as well. She's a little bit scorned from something. Why is the Queen of, Queen of Swords here? She may be a little bit upset right now. Um, so she might be not in her best communication skills. She may not be communicating in a fair, honest manner or within her truth. Um, maybe she doesn't know what she wants. Maybe she feels that she wants to cut you out or cut, cut, get cut, cut people out of a situation. So 
somebody may be considering um, canceling or, or firing somebody within a job situation or not communicating anymore because the, there's too much unpleasant emotions involved, uh, or this person is the person, this queen of swords is the person causing all this imbalance within this friendship or work situation. Why is the queen of swords here for cancer? Queen of rods. Why is the queen of swords here for cancer? So this is a fire energy. Fire. This is, could be um, a Leo. Aries or Sagittarius energy. This energy of just wanting to be successful. Um, this is somebody who knows exactly what they want. They're very successful at what they do. They're very attractive um, because they're just so confident. And they uh, pretty much get what they want and they go after it. They're not afraid of hard work. They're not afraid of doing what it takes to get it. And so uh, this Queen of Swords, it might, might be negative uh, towards this other person. Let's get another card. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Yeah, so there's a lack of a fulfillment in love. There's a lack of fulfillment in love here. So the ones of you that this is not a work situation or several people involved, it could be just a, you know, you and another person um, that you're dealing with. And this is the Ace of Cups in reverse. So there's, she's not, it doesn't have to be a female, it could be male, but this person's a little bit bitter right now and they're kind of negative. Um, they may, like I say, they may be not speaking at all, or when they do speak, they're not, they're kind of cold hearted and they're kind of more in interested in their own benefits in things. So, or not really telling the truth, uh, or giving any help as far as the truth anyway. Um, because it looks like they, they're very unsatisfied in love. They're very unfulfilled and therefore it's difficult for them to be their normal, um, focused, you know, honest, truthful, uh, energy so it's kind of turned a little bit negative towards somebody could be this person right here this queen of rods it could be jealousy going on here because this person is um very successful very outgoing and ready to do what it takes and they're capable of it so it could be something you and this other person um you know, there could be three people here, you and these two people. So that looks like to be the challenge, the situation here. Somebody wants to move forward and take action, and maybe the uh, other person does not. And it's resulting in a lack of satisfaction with somebody uh, in love, unable to bring forth satisfaction in love within a situation. 